What's poppin' people, it's Dante, currently going for my morning walk here in Philadelphia. Welcome to Fairmont Park. Check out the leaves falling. It's so beautiful. And they're changing colors. We have these burning trees. They look like they're on fire. You know, there's something about change, evolution, transformation, and quite literally just observing the way that seasons change, the weather pattern, the way the light casts upon surfaces. Um, there's something in change, evolution, and movement to be in this state of flux, right? This stream of becoming that I'm very interested in. And I find that these very simple things like leaves changing, withering, dying, decaying, remind me of this. And so I wanted to discuss today what it means to be in flux and why I'm thinking about this. So I find that to be in flux is to be moving, right? And so when I consider movement, I consider the word motivation, motivation, quite literally, meaning to move. And so human beings being bipedal, having two legs, having two feet, having a tall spine, two arms, we can sort of reach high and grab things. I find that, you know, we are sort of like a, a tree, <laughs> right? And we have grown and adapted to our environment this way. And so, um, yeah, maybe the human the end goal and the purpose is to fulfill the potential of change and evolution. And so with that as our end purpose or goal, I find that it is an endless and infinite pursuit. And so to be in this, in this sort of state of flux, to be in flux, to be in this state of movement is where we flourish as an individual. And I find that we have this creative capacity to fulfill every single day as a person. And so this means, you know, through reading, augmenting your thoughts, thinking, writing, whether you're making art, poetry, music, dance, painting, drawing, sculpture, horticulture. There's so many different ways in which you can create throughout your day. And I find that the act of creation, the act of manipulating and articulating the world around you through photography, where I look at life and its chaos and complexity and put order to it through the view, through the viewfinder through the use of a lens and a camera i then make something out of nothing and that act of creation is very powerful as it is now my perspective that is individual to myself my soul my body and how i position myself in the in the world through movement <laughs> and um that photograph becomes not only a depiction of reality but a reflection of my evolution my change my stream of becoming and i find that to be the greatest place to be when it comes to the creative process of practicing photography where when i'm making pictures i am evolving and i think that is where i reach this feeling of bliss this state of flourishing and I think it comes through the movement of my legs and I think this is why photography is so great because photography requires the individual to be an embodied reality to experience life on the front lines and this is where I find I am most um, happy and most joyful right and so through um, photography I check all of these different boxes in my day and fulfill my creative capacity when it comes to rest my head and go to sleep. For when I carry a camera that fits in my front right pocket at all times throughout the day, I essentially have the ability to be in a creative state of production throughout the entirety of my day where I find I, I flourish and where I find I remain in this state of flux, right? To be in flux. And so for me, the ultimate aim in life is to strive to evolve and to change. And so by embracing the creative process each day and fulfilling that capacity and exhausting your creative muscle, your physical muscle, your mental capacity, this is where we can achieve this state of flourishing. And so through movement, through the physical transformation of your body, weightlifting, reading, writing, photographing, I find this to be um, my place of flourishing. This is my 
way to evolve. This is how I am undergoing change. This is how I undergo transformation. And this is how I believe I reach my purpose and duty as a human to evolve. And so I find that this thought is maybe hard for me to articulate at the moment, but I'm trying to think about what it means to be in flux because I believe that this is the um, best place to be as a photographer. And I wanted to discuss this because I find that the mindset and philosophy of a photographer is interesting to consider and my philosophy is all about the journey and the stream of becoming the process of photographing each and every day sort of just treating photography like a visual diary of what i saw and a reflection of my soul and this to me is the optimal workflow because there is no end goal there is no end to the journey as a human being we have infinite potential to fulfill and i find that to be very similar to that of a photographer and the artistic practice and so just think about change think about evolution and transformation and how we can be in this state of production throughout our lives so that we can flourish i find that to be in flux is to flourish and this is why i wanted to discuss this today because it brings me joy and maybe it will also bring you joy yeah just think about how you can be in a creative state of production throughout the entirety of your day exhausting your physical muscles mental muscles creative muscles until you go to sleep and then wake up and repeat and sort of embrace this journey of change and transformation similar to the way that the leaves grow the leaves die and then they come back again you know i find that to be the way in which we can live our everyday lives through change through embracing each day like it's your last and when you go to bed treating it that way like you're resting your head to go into a deep sleep for eternity but then you're gonna wake up again and have more opportunities to change <laughs> and so maybe it's like um we, we undergo our own little change of seasons every single day on loop until we die and the goal is to be in flux and to fulfill our potential through movement and change To be in flux. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean to be in flux? I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out. So this is where I go.